assalamu alaikum today in this lecture we will create this calculator layout using html and css let's create a new file and start html so div class calculator and input type number another diff class calculator buttons and we will copy and paste this Now we have created the layout. Let's code some CSS. And for each and every element set its margin to zero. And for calculator class width to 400 pixels and margin 0. Padding top 30, then padding bottom 30. Border to X, solid. Now for the calculator input. Set width to 100%. Font size to 40 pixels. 
text align right border none margin 5x and border bottom 2x you can experiment with various properties here and create a beautiful layout Pause this video here and test your CSS here. What I did here in calculator input background none, border none, box shadow none with 100%, font size 40 pixels, text align right, and border bottom 2 pixels solid. And I am removing this and setting it to box sizing border box. Now I have this layout. Here is calculator input. These are the changes I made here. and if you remove these then you can see the difference and calculator button And now for calculator buttons, we will use grid here, display grid. And here is our calculator with grids. Let's set its columns. We will take four buttons in one row. So four columns in a row. four columns equally and we need five rows equally here is the layout You can set a grid gap, but I will not use grid gap here. We will create layout like this.
we have three different types of buttons function buttons number buttons and special buttons so for class functional buttons set its background color and then text color and for special buttons set background color and text color now apply these classes to the buttons the equal button is a special button but we need to expand it to two rows so button equal class you can check various properties here but we will use grid draw and set its span to 2 Now here we have this layout and remove this border of the calculator class Now we have completed this and we can add border to our calculator input So now we have created this. In the next lecture, we will complete our JavaScript code. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this, then please subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you have any question, then leave it in comment section. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye bye.